If you're set and ready to go, let's try it at the count of three. One, two, three. Yeah! yeah. Well, that's pretty darn good. Eight takes is good, but it's pretty darn good. That's good for the sing-along portion that's going to be coming here. Then we've got the Big Mountain Pikes Peak. Afraid of this South Gateway. But what do you notice about North Gateway? North Gateway actually has a hole in it, doesn't it? Can you see the hole on the top of North Gateway? Mm -hmm. And right there where that hole is, can you use your imagination? Let me see if I can pull up just a little and see it through the trees. Can you use your imagination and see two camels that are kissing? Oh, yeah. Isn't that incredible? Mm -hmm. That's Hey there, welcome to the Garden of the Gods. You guys are about to embark on an epic journey through time and space to see for yourself just how those red rocks actually got there. I'm your pilot, Captain James Kerr. No, not Captain Kirk. It's Kerr, K-E-R-R, -R, Scottish, actually. <laughs> but you can call me Jim. And this, this is the Geo Trekker, a wonder of space and time travel technology. Ready to go for a ride? Hold on. Now, to begin the story of the Red Box, we have to go back about a billion years. So here we go. Hold tight, you're gonna be moving pretty fast. Let's see if we can get you guys a better view. We're deep in the Earth's crust now, about five miles down, a little over a billion years ago. You can check out our location in time and space on the indicators on your screen. That's red hot magma out there, melted rock. The magma is cooling and crystallizing to form Pike's Peak granite. The rock base that forms the core are many layers of rock on top, including eventually, of course, Pike's Peak, but not quite yet. Whoa. Now we're locked into the newly formed Pike's Peak granite. This granite is mostly made of three minerals, quartz, feldspar, and mica. The pink color comes from the feldspar and various iron minerals. Let's see if we can bust out of here by traveling forward a few hundred million years. Above us now, seas are rising and falling over millions of years, depositing relatively thin layers of limestone, sandstone, and shale on top of us. We've traveled over half a billion years. It didn't feel like it did. The geological forces have raised the ancient range of mountains called the Ancestral Rockies. You were lucky. Stand tall, the weak mudstones become valleys, and gradually, the rocks take on the astounding form they have today. <laughs> oh, guess what? We made it back to present day. Millions of years of geological forces, along with wind, water, blowing sand, and freezing ice, shaped the rock around us into the Garden of the Gods. This formation is known as the Cathedral Spires. Want to see more of the park? Here we go. Wow, look at how the sandstone stands straight up. Those are the Three Graces. And that is ballast rock and steamboat rock. And those, those are known as gateway rocks. And up ahead, the North Gateway Rock and the famous Kissing Camels.
been a real blast having you on board today. And I hope our billion year trip through time was a lot of fun, but also gave you a little better understanding about how those gorgeous red rocks got there. And if you haven't done it already, you need to get out there and see them for yourselves. <laughs> Thanks again, and enjoy the rest of your visit.